2018 Cadillac XT5. 2018 Cadillac XT5 Review On. Confident and reassuring, whether it's pointed straight ahead or turning quickly. 3.5 star overall dot with a smooth driving character and poised to match its chiseled looks. The 2018 Cadillac XT5 builds on the success of the brand's previous small crossover SUV, the SRX. The XT5, now in its second year of production, is a now new, ground up overhaul. The XT5 is longer than its predecessor and yields more rear seat legroom, but it's also lighter and more fuel efficient. On the road, the XT5 feels confident and reassuring whether pointed straight ahead over long highway miles or turning quickly on winding roads. All wheel drive is optional, but it's meant more for inclement weather driving than any kind of off road adventuring. An available towing package enables the XT5 to pull up to 3,500 pounds behind it. Although the XT5 cuts a handsome figure, we've found in our testing that it doesn't excel in any particular area. The V6 engine, which is the only engine Cadillac offers, won't wow you with its performance or fuel economy, while some interior design choices impede ease of use and visibility. The XT5 is in the mix with other crossovers you might consider. It offers more cargo space and a more attractive price than the Lexus RX 350, but less passenger and cargo room than the Lincoln MKX. The Audi Q5, BMW X3 and Mercedes-Benz Glass are all a bit smaller but typically offer better fuel economy and a broader range of engines. Still, with its distinctive styling, spacious interior and a pleasant ride and drive, the Cadillac XT5 merits a close look. What's new? The Cadillac XT5 carries into 2018 with only minor changes. The XT5 base model comes with a nice complement of essential features and luxuries, but we say spend the extra money for the luxury trim. It comes with heated seats, leather, a sunroof, basic driver aids, and several options you might like but can't get on the base trim. The premium luxury trim costs a lot more, but it's not a substantial upgrade. The adaptive suspension and additional driver assistance features are nice, but the 20 inch wheels, nice as they look, contribute to a rougher ride than the luxury trim smaller wheels. Trim levels and features The 2018 Cadillac XT5 is a five passenger SUV available in four trim levels. XT5 Base, Luxury, Premium Luxury and Platinum. A 3.6-liter V6 engine 310 horsepower, 271 pound-feet of torque, an 8-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive are standard across the lineup. All-wheel drive is optional on all but the base XT5 trim and comes standard on the top Platinum trim. Highlights of the XT5 base model's standard features include 18-inch wheels. LED daytime running lights, rear parking sensors, simulated leather upholstery, power adjustable front passenger seats, a power lift gate with height memory, a 402020 split folding rear seat with sliding and reclining functionality, keyless ignition and entry, and remote engine start. All wheel drive models have heated front seats. Tech features for the base XT5 include an 8 inch touchscreen, voice controls, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration, OnStar services includes a 4G LTE data connection and Wi-Fi hotspot, 4 USB ports, wireless device charging, and an 8-speaker Bose sound system with satellite radio. Luxury trim upgrades include leather upholstery, heated front seats, a heated steering wheel, driver seat memory settings, a panoramic sunroof, front parking sensors rear cross traffic alert and blind spot monitoring. Available options are ventilated front seats, heated rear seats and a navigation system bundled with an upgraded, 14-speaker Bose surround sound system. Opting for the navigation and Bose bundle also allows you to replace the standard halogen headlights with LED lamps. An optional driver awareness package for luxury trims adds automatic high beams. Lane Departure Warning and Lane Keeping Assist, Pedestrian Detection, Forward Collision Alert and Automatic Emergency Braking. The Advanced Security Package includes an alarm that senses vehicle movement inside and out, a locking steering column, 
door lock and latch shields, and locking wheel lugs. The premium luxury trim adds 20-inch wheels, an adaptive suspension that constantly adjusts to road conditions, ventilated front seats, interior accent lighting, a navigation system, the upgraded Bose sound system, and the features of the driver awareness package. Options are three's own automatic climate control and the driver assist package, which bundles adaptive cruise control, an enhanced collision mitigation system and an automatic parking system. Finally, the Platinum includes most of the previously mentioned standard and optional features, but adds all-wheel drive, unique 20-inch wheels, upgraded leather upholstery, a hands-free power liftgate, a rear camera mirror projects a real-time image from a liftgate mounted camera, a top-view camera system and a head-up display. While the advanced security package is standard, the driver assist package remains optional. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically comes in multiple versions that are fundamentally similar. The S and this review are based on our full test of the 2017 Cadillac XT5 Premium Luxury 3.6 liters V6, 8-speed automatic, AWD. 0. Driving. The XT5 delivers a confident and reassuring driving experience when it comes to the way it steers, grips the road and brakes to a stop. It's not terribly quick but the engine and transmission deliver enough sauce to get the job done. But those with a heavy right foot may disagree. Acceleration. In routine traffic, the 3.6-liter V6 feels strong enough to accomplish its mission and never comes across as lacking. But it's not a powerhouse like some rivals with turbocharged or supercharged V6s can be. At our test track, the dash to 60 miles per hour took us 6.8 seconds. Braking. There's a reassuring steadiness and firmness to the pedal, and brake response is immediate without being jumpy or hard to regulate. At the track, our simulated panic stop test from 60 miles per hour required 116 feet, which is better than average. Steering. It has good straight-ahead stability when cruising the open road. Turn-in response is crisp and immediate, yet the transition from straight-ahead is smooth, not darty but it generally lacks feel and doesn't communicate much to the driver, especially at lower speeds. Handling. It feels coordinated and somewhat light on its feet. There isn't much body roll, and it tracks cleanly around corners. It's not the sort of SUV that encourages you to seek out winding roads, but doesn't discourage it either. Drivability. 8-speed transmission shifts smoothly. On the highway. It doesn't hesitate to deliver a downshift when you need to accelerate, but more aggressive drivers might think it lags behind. For them there is a sport mode. Auto stop start system has no defeat switch. Comfort. The XT5 is suitably comfortable. Seat comfort is a high point, and the ride is smooth, well-mannered and never feels bouncy. But it isn't as quiet as it ought to be particularly at low speeds around town where engine accessory drive noises are evident. Seat Comfort The handsome seats have bolstering in all the right places and allow plenty of adjustments. The padding isn't skimpy, but it's not what we'd call blush. Ride Comfort The ride is nicely controlled and exhibits little float or bounce that would make a vehicle feel less planted on the road. The suspension absorbs most bumps cleanly but there's only so much a low profile 20-inch tire can do when it meets an abrupt edge. Noise and vibration. Not your grandpa's hushed Cadillac. Wind and road noise is present in moderate amounts, though it's more dispersed than acute. There's a bit of vibration at idle, and at city speeds we noticed more mechanical sounds than expected. Climate control. Climate control isn't as responsive as wed like and we found ourselves constantly adjusting the temperature settings and vents. The available heated and ventilated seats can be set to turn on automatically. Interior. It looks nice and modern at first glance, but the styling priorities reduce control simplicity and compromise outward visibility. And while the XT5 offers generous head and legroom up front, it does not feel all that spacious across the width of the cabin, particularly at the elbows. Ease of use. The gauge numerals are tiny, and the amount of tick marks dense. The center touchscreen and shiny black panel beneath collect fingerprints, 
and the airflow mode switch is accessible only through the touch screen. We're not fans of the knobless design approach. Getting and jetting out. The easily accessible seat height, narrow sills, wide opening doors and squarish door openings make the front and rear seats equally easy to enter and exit. Driving position. The driving position is generally accommodating, but the high center console creates a higher scene area for elbows. Some taller drivers might wish for a more telescopic steering column extension and a driver's left foot rest that isn't so close. Roominess. The front seats offer good head and legroom, but the cabin feels confined at the elbows due to the high center armrest. There's a good amount of rear leg space, but headroom is tight for six-footers in the XT5 equipped with the panoramic sunroof. Visibility. The cowl is somewhat high but the view forward and directly to the sides is reasonable. A rising window belt line, thick rear pillar and narrow rear window all add up to a significant rear three-quarter blind spot. All mirrors could also stand to be bigger. Quality. The paint looks attractive, and the panel gaps are small. The interior materials are cut above the old SRXs, with attractive perforated leather and metal accents that have a matte silver finish. The piano black touch points unfortunately show fingerprints and smears. Utility. We found the XT5S main cargo hold to be well shaped and accommodating, though we can't say the same about small item storage in the front of the cabin. The high point is a hidden purse cubby, but the center console is not nearly as big inside as it appears outside. Small item storage. For all the interior space the center console consumes. You'd think that its storage bin inside would be bigger. The door pockets are kind of small, too. The glove box is a decent size, and there's a handy purse shelf hidden below the shifter. Two front cup holders, two rear. Cargo space. The cargo floor is flat, but the lift over height is higher than that of some competitors. The rear seat backs fold completely flat via remote levers just inside the hatch expanding the standard 30 cubic feet of cargo space to 63 cubic feet. The hatch opening height is programmable. Child safety seat accommodation. Two pairs of latch anchors are hidden in the crack of the seats, a tight fit with no relief to prevent the hooks from scratching the leather. Three top tether anchors are readily accessible. Accommodate two seats in the outboard position or one in the middle. Towing. The optional tow package supports 3,500 pounds of towing capacity, which is competitive for crossover SUVs of this size and weight. Technology. The touchscreen audio and navigation system seems more responsive than previous iterations, and the addition of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is transformative. The standard voice controls aren't very compelling, but the system defers to Apple and Android commands if properly synced. Audio and navigation. The infotainment system response time is better than before, which makes the logical touchscreen menus flow smoother. But the screen seems small because of all the virtual buttons in the margins. The touch sensitive volume slider seems like a styling gimmick. Smartphone integration. Bluetooth phone pairing is fairly straightforward. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are supported and standard. There are two USB jacks and an auxiliary jack inside the center console with two more PAL and the USB jacks for rear seat passengers. Voice control. The voice controls are pretty clunky and can't recognize all commands. It's a lot easier if you plug in your smartphone, at which point the same button summons Siri or Google Voice, both of which are much more powerful voice recognition systems.